Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Adam. Thanks for hanging out with me again for a little bit today. And on today's episode is what news showed up from eBay. <laughs> so recently, uh, you know, I just climb on there every now and then and just kind of peruse around to see if I see anything that is either a really great deal or something I really, really want. And this time I stumbled across a pretty great deal. So it arrived today in this box. This box has seen some things. <laughs> so this this guy has been around the block a few times. There's a couple different, you know, barcode tags of different numbers on here um, with the guy's name on here. So it, this, this one's been around. I don't think I'm gonna hang this one on the wall. But thankfully, the car is in much better shape than the box. <laughs> so the box did its job. Um, keeping the car in one piece. Now, it's not perfect, by far. Um, it definitely needs a thorough cleaning. It's got crud and crap all over it, mainly from the shocks leaking, so I'm gonna have to rebuild the shocks and, you know, send everything through uh, good washing and scrub down. So this one's gonna have to get completely torn apart. Um, I've kind of poked around a little bit. Um, I did check it, so we put a new battery in there. Um, I had to get the radio cleaned up all the contacts in here on the bottom were pretty nasty now luckily the way this radio is assembled all the power leads going up into the radio are at the top and everything leaked down into the bottom so all I had to do was you know get in there with the wire brush and scrub the contacts and and get those cleaned up put new batteries in and it actually works so that's pretty awesome and is this the most Iron Man looking radio you've ever seen <laughs> I pulled it out and I'm like I am Iron Man but it works, so we're going to use that. Now, the buggy itself, um, so let me grab my notes. So this is the Kyosho Outrage Mark II. And this came out in 1988 underneath part number 3830871. Um, now, the cool thing with this kit, this was one of those 90% built kits. So the only thing you had to do was paint the clear body and wing that came with it put the decals on, and install a radio system and two servos. So this has the Fataba 2TER radio system. And the label on the front of it um, kind of amused me. Bioengineering designed. Huh? Um, I guess that means ergonomic. I don't know. Buzzwords. It just it made me laugh. Um, so inside, it is all stock. It has two of the Fataba... S3000 and three uh, servos, one for steering, one for the rotary speed control. Um, it has the receiver back here kind of floating around on what used to be adhesive tape. Now it's just a foam brick. <laughs> the resistor hides way back here. Uh, it still has the factory Kyosho speed uh, motor in it. Now there's a few things I need to address. One is the Wi-Fi steering. He's, 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 he's no hooked up. So what happened there is it looked like the servo saver ring snapped in half. Now, it didn't happen in transit because you can see that there's a bunch of um, super glue that was put on there to try to make it work. And we all know that never worked. <laughs> so I have to find another servo saver ring. I'm sure I've got one in my bag of uh, bits over there. Um, uh, uh, to me, one should work. It's about the same size. Um, but I was, I bought this and didn't know what I was going to do with it when I got it because I didn't know whether I wanted to put modern electronics in it and run it around or if this stuff was going to work and we would leave it as is. It all works. We're going to leave it as is. So I'm going to get this torn apart, get it cleaned up. Um, there's a few things I got to address. Like I said, I got to, I know I got to rebuild the shocks. All the shocks are soaking wet and the A-arms are wet. So they have been leaking and leaking for a while. Um, the gear cover on the side is the foam uh, ceiling pad that goes around it is shot. So I'm going to have to find some of that foam ceiling tape and put on there. Um, I do need to adjust the gear mesh. It is a little bit loose, so I don't want to run it like it is. It doesn't look like it's damaged anything. The gears all look well, but I can tell that it just has too much play in the uh, spur gear. So one thing I did notice while you know going through it and... Um, kind of checking everything besides the, you know, Wi-Fi steering we have up here. Um, the wheels have plastic bushings in them. So the fronts 
aren't too bad. There's a little bit of play in the fronts, but those will easily be fixed with bearings. The rears are shot. Um, there is a lot of side to side movement to where the, the each one of those bushings is allowing that spindle to move up and down. So I definitely need to get some bearings in the rear here. Um, they're a different size than Tamiya stuff, so I'll have to you know make an order. I think they're like 10 by 4 by 5 or something like that. I can't remember, but they're not like the 1150 bearings that Tamiya uses. Um, gear train sounds fine. Other than the, you know, you can hear the wheels kind of chattering back and forth, but I was able to put it up on a block and just barely touch my fingers to the outside to steady the wheels, and it just quieted everything up perfectly. So it sounds like the gearbox is all in great shape, and the dog bones and everything, the drive cups look like to be in great shape. So I just wanted to show you guys this. This is something new that showed up. Um, we will be getting it done up. I don't think I'm going to be able to find another body for it, so we're probably going to rock the body. Now, whoever did this was, you know, planned out and did this pretty well. Um, it's hard to see, but there is purple splatter all up on the front end and all over the wing and a little bit back here. So it looked like they splattered the front, splattered the wing, and then they sprayed the body with a couple good coats of red. And when they went to do the wing, they kind of ran out of red. <laughs> So it looked like you got one little of paint on the wing um, to where the rest of the body is nice and red. Now, they came back and backed the red with silver on both the wing and the, the body. And you can see up here where they just went a little super heavy and it dripped down and it kind of bled through a little bit. But overall, it's in great shape. It's not all scratched and scuffed up. Um, decals are holding on well. Um, so I think we're just going to leave this the way it is. The wing actually matches the pink um, kind of Ultima wheels pretty well. So I think we're just going to run it as is. The bottom of it is in really great shape. It's got some scratches, it's got some scuffs from being run, but it's not beat up. Now the cool thing is, and I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but this actually has the uh, looks to be the original price tag of $259.99 from Exotic Hobbies. Now he also had some batteries in here, which were also from Exotic, exotic Hobbies. So we have a Zip Pack 7.2 uh, NICAD pack, and this was in 1899 back in the day. You can still buy, you know, NICAD packs and nickel metal hydride packs for 15 to 20 bucks a piece. So prices haven't changed there. Um, he has an 8.4 Piranha NICAD pack, also from the Hobby Place, and this was 30 bucks. So that one extra sale cost you, but you got a whole lot extra. So I paid 82 bucks for this with $25 shipping. So all in all, what, 107 bucks for a fully usable kit and needing a few repairs and tweaks. But overall, you know, that's a heck, a heck of a deal, I think. You know, it's not a super high collectible one, but I think it's going to be fun. It's going to look great up there with the rest of them. And, you know, gives it a little touch of flair and some different stuff than just Tamiya, 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 Tamiya. Anyway, everybody out there, you guys will see this sometime. I don't know. I have to get around to it. There's about, yeah, one, two, three, four, 25 projects ahead of it. <laughs> we'll get to it, but this will make its appearance back on the show. We will get it all stripped down, cleaned up, and out running. But until then, everybody out there, you guys be happy, be healthy, be safe, and I will catch you on the next one. See you guys.